okay so this is the full package the smart device i built um the other time i tested the device using this development board this is my locally fabricated development board now i'm done with the device so i want to test run the device with fan and light so this is the app this is the mobile application i built it using floater framework that programming language so i'll be testing the smart socket using the mobile application the communication technology that i'm using is bluetooth so i'll be communicating the range is 100 meters so you can stay like 100 meters from the socket and you can be able to control it so let's see how it works So this is the bulb, I want to plug the bulb to the socket and this is the fan. So what I want to do now, I want to control the bulb and the fan using my mobile, my mobile phone through the, the application. So now I want to connect the mobile application with the socket, with the smart socket. Alright, so now, yeah, I will select the module, the Bluetooth module that is inside is HC05. So I will select HC05, then I will connect. That's connected. So now, this is socket one. So once I press socket one, the light is on. I can turn it off. Then I can on the fan. I can also turn it off. So as you can see, the device is working perfectly well. So the next modification I want to do now, I want to add a switch on this particular device, override switch, so that if I don't have my phone, I can still use my socket. Because currently, if I don't have the mobile application, it will be difficult for me to, I cannot, I cannot operate the, the socket because I don't have the override button. So I'll add the override button so that if I don't have my mobile application on my mobile phone, I can actually use the socket. Thank you very much.